internet isn't a new world. The internet is not something foreign. The internet is here, it is now. We are communicating, having this session made possible by the internet, okay? It's a new world in which anything goes. It's not a new world in which anything goes, but a new dimension of the world around us. This is now, this is 2021, and your netiquette levels, ladies and gentlemen, need to be on top. You need to be representing good value. People must benefit from being your friend on WhatsApp, on Facebook. They must learn from you. They must be inspired. They must grow from you. They mustn't see you as a hotspot for gossip or for bad news. You understand? So now let's unpack some phone etiquette as well as some netiquette keys. Both of them are similar. Phone etiquette is a physical, how you are around with this gadget. And netiquette refers to your presence online. Are you ready? Number one, we all have phones, most of us. But unfortunately, there's a lot of us who are addicted to our phones so bad that we care about what's on the phone without caring about the real people made of flesh and blood who are in front of us. This is the rule of thumb. The person who is with you physically is more important than the person with you on the phone. Do you understand that? So who, who do you need to give attention to the most? You need to give attention to the real person, this person, and less to the person on the phone. I've put those two pictures up there. I hope you can see them clearly. The first picture, I see it happening all the time. People go out together, but they don't talk to each other. They are together physically, but they are far apart in reality because people are busy taking care of people who are on the phone. This is bad manners, it is not good, and it happens a lot, okay? Nothing is ruder than trying to have a conversation with someone who's on their phone or on their computer. If someone is in the room with you, stop what you're doing, look at them and engage with them. Acknowledge the people who you are with. I love, love, love the video you played in the beginning. It had so many insights on etiquette and I did see this one as well. Pay attention, care for those people who are with you in reality and not the people who are on the phone. Because most of the times on our phones, we're just scrolling and scrolling. We are not engaging, we're not connecting, we're not forming deep relationships. Deep relationships are built with the real people who are around you. Okay, this is a big one. I see it happening all the time. Please, the most important people are people with you in reality, not people on the phone. If you're expecting a, an important call or an email and you're with someone face-to-face, -face, tell them in advance that, hey, we're together, but I'm expecting an important call in two minutes. I'll have to step aside a little bit to take that call. Or, sorry, may you give me a second while I quickly respond to this important email. But don't have the whole event of you always being on your phone. I see too much of this happening these days. You're talking to somebody, but you're asking them your attention. It is rude, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody's doing it. We need to start a revolution to stop it. Okay. I love that picture there. It says, do you mind if I put your phone on my forehead so that you actually look at me? This happens a lot. We talk to people, but we're not looking at them. Well, they're not looking at us. They look at the phones and it's so bad. So please join me in stopping this. We need to build relationships. We need to connect. We need to look at each other face to face, person to person, blood to blood. All right. Number two, share with discretion. So when you see juicy, interesting, wow information on the internet, on your Facebook, on your WhatsApp, don't rush off to share it. Okay, 
Also, when you have pictures taken of yourself, videos taken of yourself, don't rush off to have your cameras there because you don't know who is taking what and who they're going to share it with, all right? So please avoid sending inappropriate pictures on digital platforms such as WhatsApp and Facebook. I'm gonna go deep down in the facts. Please, ladies and gentlemen, if you are in a relationship with somebody, stop sending pictures that are inappropriate. Stop it, stop it, stop it, because you don't know where those pictures are going. Okay, once something has been sent, you have no control over it, all right? So be careful, protect your personal brand, protect it with all you have. Don't let everybody have a piece of you. Don't be known for pictures that were sent, videos that were sent, please be careful. Okay, this includes naked pictures, nude pictures, drunk pictures, dancing videos, general videos, videos of you gossiping, doing things, be careful. The best advice I'd give is never do anything that if somebody was to record you, it will come back to you negatively. Okay, if you have any problem with your boss or your professional colleagues seeing something, then don't post it. Because once something goes out into the world of the internet, you don't have control over it and you can't delete it. That means it might come back to harm you years later. So be careful of the rooms that you enter. Be careful of the conversations that you have. You don't know who's recording, who's taking a photo. And please stop sending people pictures of you not looking appropriate. Do you understand? Next, similar related to the previous point, check your facts before reposting. So the first one is your own information going out there. But now this one is, you know, chain messages, news, celebrity gossip, check it. Don't just post it. Okay, the same way we say think before you speak, Google before you post. Don't be known for sharing wrong news. It is not good for who you are. It is not good for your personal brand. I will cover personal branding in a little bit. Okay, so don't just share information if you're not 100% sure that is correct. Also, respect protocol. Sometimes some things need to be shared by higher authority. Don't rush off to share it because you've got the news. Chain messages. Please don't be quick to share chain messages. Chain messages is how viruses are transmitted from one device to the other. You get a message that says, send this to 10 people for good luck. That's viruses that are passing. Don't be naive. Don't be a victim of those. Don't message, don't share messages that just because it says it's good luck or you have a good day. That's viruses moving from one gadget to the other. Okay. So please be sure before you share anything. You don't want to share wrong information and you don't want people to come back and say, Oh, I got this information from Grace. No, don't do that. All right. Phones are so dangerous. They give us information so handy and we get so excited. We want to share. But please, before you share, think first and make sure that it's 100% correct before you start telling people any news. Okay. I love this picture. Google before you tweet is the same thing before you speak. So I always tell people, think before you speak. Now, when you're talking about netiquette, when you're talking about the virtual world, Google, make sure it's correct before you share it on any platforms, be it social media platforms or your personal messages, make sure you only share correct information. Okay, 